And what a matchup we have for you too. The Los Angeles Galaxy taking on their Western Conference rivals, the Seattle Sound. The key tonight, though, is Janino and Sarvis in front of the back four. We saw last week Vancouver did a wonderful job of stopping entry passes into Martins and Dempsey. The key tonight for the LA Galaxy is that position of Janino and Sarvis in front of De La Garza and Gonzalez. Number 10, Landon Donovan's on the left-hand side. When Yedlin goes forward, Evans will have to be very smart to cover that space to stop LA in transition. The Sounders can clinch the shield with a victory here tonight. Big cities, big clubs, big expectations. Two teams who are expected to win and two teams who've been doing a whole lot of winning recently. Here's Gargan. Into the outside route, did well. Got a great cross into Donovan back across the face of goal! Off the bar! And Juninho on the follow-up, got it all wrong. Landon Donovan, denied by the woodwork early on here. Well, and this is what Bruce Arena wants, is to get Lamar Nagel to defend. Dan Gargan coming forward. The key here is DeAndre Yedlin will have to stay home all night long because of Landon Donovan acting as that third four, coming in as that third attacker. Good spot from Leo Gonzalez to make sure he's between Hugh Sidich and that ball off the bar. Well done. Resetting here for the Sounders, Alonso. Martins picked up that pass, okay, and weaves his way through over Femi Martins! And what a magnificent save from Jaime Pinedo, the Panamanian pouring that away with his left hand. And this is why Oba Femi Martins is an MVP candidate for me, because his ability to hold balls up and then in tight spaces find that half a yard. How good of a save is that from Pinedo? Love the movement, quick movement from Obafemi Barnes, but that is a big time save, and these two are still having words. Any questions on how big of a game it is tonight? There's your answer. It's wonderful work from Ozzy Alonso, surging forward. Hey, goal. Oh, that was a nasty challenge from Omar Gonzalez. And Nagel was the recipient at the Seattle technical staff off their bench. Well, at first glance, Adrian, great combination of play from a lot. That is a nasty challenge from Omar Gonzalez here. Both guys going in hard and both leaving their feet to try to get on the end of it. That is a nasty. Eddie Johnson with 14. For uh, second in that department. Here's Dempsey looking for number 15. It's uh, only a heroic intervention there by Gonzalez. Stop Dempsey from scoring. What a challenge that was. Four awaiting a cross. And it comes from Gargan. Not the best header away. The shot is a beauty. What a goal for Baggio Husinic. Lift off. And here I am getting ready to say Seattle Sounders have come to LA, executed their game plan per perfectly, but just miscommunication from Brad Evans and DeAndre Yedley here. If anything, that clearance has to go wide of the 18, not right on top of the 18. And Baggio Husinich in the right spot at the right time finishes it off. That is a huge goal for the LA Galaxy going into the half. He said uh, before the game, actually, we know we'll get chances, we know they'll get chances. It's about who takes them. And is there one in the offing here for Seattle? Is Martins. Oh, overcoming Martins. He used his hand in the end, I think inadvertently, as he tried to skip past Bernardo. Traditionally, you think, you know what, Chad Marshall will mark up with Omar Gonzalez, but he wants Ziggy Schmidt, wants Chad Marshall free, just attacking the ball here. Indeed, he was close to it. Shot is on for Sarvas! Oh, Marcelo Sarvas! He makes it twice as nice for LA. It's a disastrous turn of events for the Sounders.
The Galaxy assume control. And both goals tonight for the LA Galaxy, Adrian, have come off of second balls. Dealing, not dealing with the first one, but making sure you clear your lines and you deal with the second balls. In the first half, it was Baggio Husidic. Again, it was Husidic picking up his head, but laying it off for Sarvas to hit it first time. LA Galaxy clinical in making sure that ball doesn't leave that 18. Great finish from Marcelo Sarvas. Yedlin. DeAndre Yedlin. There's a midfielder again for Jurgen Klinsmann. The US against Honduras. He whips in the cross. Saul it's touched off. Chance for Dempsey who buries it. And the Sounders are roaring back to life here. Clint Dempsey. Team DeAndre Yedlin, yes, because he's concerned about defending Landon Donovan. But DeAndre Yedlin, we've seen it with the national team. He's good going forward. That little deflection from Obafemi Martins allows Clint Dempsey to get on the end of it. But this is because Yedlin's in the final third. Dempsey, Martins, they'll do things in the final third if you give them an opportunity. All credit to DeAndre Yedlin. Seattle's back into this game. Credit goes to Yedlin finally getting forward. And Ziggy Schmidt, during that substitution, he was talking to Yedlin, telling him to get forward. Now then, Martins to make all who has equalized. Seattle have turned this game upside down. They've come from two behind. Lamar Nagel with his ninth of the season. And they are stunned here at the stop up center. And again, it's coming down the left side. When you get Obafemi Martins and Clint Dempsey an ability to combine, what happens is naturally the back four comes together. Look at where Robbie Rogers ends up being. Now look at out of your screen. Where's Lamar Nagel? That's because of the Martins and Dempsey, the threat of them at all times combining. Great combination play. You get Martins running at the two center backs, and that is why at the beginning of the show, my X factor was Lamar Nagel. You have to take advantage of those oppor opportunities, and that man just did four goals and four assists in his last eight games. I wouldn't be shocked that January camp comes around if Jurgen Klinsmann wants to have a look at Robbie Rogers at left back. If you want to have a look at Dimitri, Robbie Rogers is getting up to uh, off the pitch. Uh, go to ESPN FC. Our that's website. a second yellow. Yeah, that's uh, going to be wow. A red card, and LA are down to ten men. Omar Gonzalez, uh, given his marching orders. And he, of course, will now miss next week's return in Seattle. Bruce Arena is uh, visibly distraught. But Omar Gonzalez will not see any more action now until the playoffs begin. You could disagree with the call whatever you want, but the reality is, is this. There's no reason for Omar Gonzalez to make this tackle to leave his feet when he's already on a yellow card be disappointed obviously with how the two goals from the LA Galaxy came but coming into this was taking LA out of their rhythm that's dealing with Robbie Keane Landon Donovan Seattle did that tonight well it's a draw that may well feel like a victory for the visiting Seattle Sounders uh, not the way perhaps that Landon Donovan wanted to end his uh, regular season home career